Hello and welcome to another three string cigar box guitar lesson from Coda Guitar. Uh, we are looking at a 70s classic here. So this is Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. It's from their 1975 album Physical Graffiti and uh, great riff, you know, instantly recognizable, uh, really good on three strings. So this is actually the correct key. So you can completely play along with the original track when you've learned it. Uh, we are in DAD tuning again. So still relative to what we call the standard GDG, but it's uh, a bit lower, but you can play all of the same chords and shapes that you're used to in standard tuning. So before we crack on, let's make sure we're in tune and we'll continue. Okay, so here is low D and middle A and high D. So the original tune uh, played by Jimmy Page was on uh, obviously six string guitar and it was on what you call dad gad tuning so it's just as it sounds from low to high as in low uh, d a d g a d but we are just using the lowest three strings here d a d and it still works pretty well you know it's not quite as bright as the original but we can we can play all of the riffs and chords from the song uh, so great for jamming along it's a pretty epic track it's uh, it's quite long so there is actually a free song chart that you can download from uh, the coda tuition website so you can I'd look above or below and uh, check that out. Completely free to download, so dead useful once you've learnt all of these riffs because it's it's a slightly sort of complicated structure, so it's really good to sort of see it mapped out in front of you. Uh, there's also a bunch of um, chords and scales in both DAD and EBE tuning, so a really good reference sheet. Um, it's a multiple page PDF, and uh, you can just sort of like dive into that when you, you need it for, for different songs and riffs and things, so that is also available from the website. But without further ado, let's get on with learning the song. So in case you hadn't noticed, we are flat pick and fretted note playing here. So if there's anything that you're unsure about, uh, you can maybe check out a couple of uh, beginner or earlier lessons. So good for sort of beginner level. Uh, Sunshiny Love by Cream is great for flat pick playing and riffs. And 20th Century Boy by T-Rex, which is really good for the more sort of strumming side of things, okay? But on with this song. So like we were saying, we are in open D. So um, the, it starts with that open chord there, which is a D5, just the D-A-D strings. And the riff, really simple, but very effective um, idea behind it. We're just stepping up one note at a time and in this three string version we're just stepping up the middle string so we're starting with open D and we're going to fret one now just trying to curl round just so you don't catch the D string underneath and then fret two I'm, I'm just moving up with uh, finger one all the time uh, so one two three and then eventually hit fret five okay and then this hand the strumming hand is going down up down down up down open next chord down up down down up down open next chord down up down down, up, down, open. Down, up, down. Down, up, down, open. So with your strumming, like I said, check out that 20th century boy, but you want to be uh, really loose wrist, so it's like you're, you're rotating from your elbow as well as a bit of this movement, so you can create a bit of an arc like that, nice and loose. So down, up, down. Down, up, down. Open. I'm just going for the bottom string when I play the open, but um, you could just as easily like hit two or three and, and it would sound fine. But the important thing is whichever chord you're on, 
the last thing you do is always back to the open so don't when I say open don't stay on the chord you've got to go down down on the next chord twice then open and then move to the next one and then when we get to the top when we get to D for at five that is um, shared between uh, the open strings and the D because what we're doing is we're just gradually changing the, the chords so we've got a D5 D power chord uh, on the um, PDF download that's called D plus which actually means D augmented which is what you call a sharp sharp five and then so that is a, an A sharp note uh, fret two's a B and that gives you a D6 fret three is a C that gives you a D7 and then when you get up here that's actually three D's that's a D as well but we'll, we'll, we'll class it as being the same as the, 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 the D5 at the beginning so this kind of shares between fret 5 and then the open so we do one down up down up on fret 5 and then we go straight to the open for the second down up down open bass in between the chord, just sort of the chord transition. Okay, so let's just check that from a different angle. Okay, so three, four, down, up, down, down, up, down, open, down, up, down, down, up, down, open, down, up, down, down, up, down, open, down, up, down, open, down down, up, down, open, start again, down, up, down, open. Start again. So can you hear how we've got down, up, down here, but then straight to the second, the second down, up, down is on the open to the next chord that augmented chord all right so rhythmically it's quite straightforward uh, but really again very simple but great idea what's happening is each of these chords is going round in uh, like three beat sequences before it moves so three beat cycles before it moves to the next one and so in total all of that what I just played basically lasts for three bars so it keeps repeating every three bars uh, which is slightly unusual most songs last for um, that the chord sequence or the riff actually lasts for four or two bars um, like an even number and it's just something we're really used to it just sounds very obvious uh, the drum beat is keeping a straight like John Bonham's just like pounding away on his um, sort of classic rock groove uh, but the, the riff kind of like snakes around and it um, it, it displaces slightly so when when we um, start again it, it, it sounds slightly unusual it sounds like it should be carrying on so if I just count it it'd be like this one two three and one two three and one two three and one two three and start again two and three and one okay so it just keeps going round in threes now hopefully that's not too difficult the only other thing you might want to consider is making it sound a bit more punchy by by stopping some of the notes ringing uh, stopping some of the chords ringing so you can go down up down now all I'm doing is just really really lightly just make sure this is in focus really really lightly blocking off the strings yeah so if you push down too hard you start getting a note if you want a completely dead percussive sound you've got to be super super light dead flat as well so don't be like this 
you like when, when you how you bar use the flat parts of your fingers so you've got down down block so you can do it after every single down up down and it just makes the sound uh, more sort of punctuated it, it just um, gives it a better character mute mute open mute mute open now just to get a good mute feel so i'm basically being consistent always using the same fingers that's uh, one of the reasons why i'm moving up with my first finger each time so i can just block off mute with the, the same fingers in the same hand position each time so my thumb is following up it's not staying there everything is just stepping up all right chord break <laughs> So this bit sounds pretty good and uh, it's just uh, again a very sort of simple idea just a repeating sort of two chord sequence which you just step down the neck with. So first of all we're on fret 12 and fret 10 so fret 12 on the top string fret 10 on the middle string. Now I'm going to use me uh, my pinky finger and I'm going to use my first finger because I want to step back with this one without actually moving this one. And I'm also just strumming through all three so I can always hear this, this low E. So, you do that, and you move down two frets, so we're on eight and 10 now. That steps down to fret seven. We're on five and seven. That steps down to fret four. They're gradually getting a bit further apart, these, and then this is uh, 3 and 5, that drops down to um, fret 2, that's the biggest stretch out of the whole lot. And then uh, 1 and 3, that, that instead of moving down we can just play the open string. So we've got frets 10 and 12, frets 8 and 10, and, and then the first finger is always just stepping down a, uh, an extra fret lower. And then that was five and seven, and then three and five, and then one and three. And then just to finish off, there's an extra three note riff. So we'll do the easy, easy version first. So that's just um, playing, uh, I'm already on that with my little finger. Play it again, and then fret two, open, so top string. Um, so, if that's difficult, you can just you can just move down with one string. That's that's still uh, sorry, playing fretting on one string. Uh, if, if if that's easier, if, if these stretches are a bit different, it, it, it difficult. It sounds better, but uh, that would just be ten, nine, eight, seven. So if we're doing this version, we've got to try and curl round so that we're, again, we're not catching uh, the, the high D at the bottom. And then, so that's fret seven, and then five, four, three, two, one, open, same riff at the end. But push the boat out, try and, try and get these shapes in. Sound, sound sounds better. And so uh, the, these chords, uh, that's a D what you call a sus, sus4, down to normal D, and that's a C, sus4, down to normal C, apart from we're droning the, the, the low D, and that's an A, sus4, down to A, still droning the low D, G, sus4, to G, still droning the low D, and F, sus4, to F, droning the low D. So, uh, on, on the score, they're written out slash chords, so it's like C slash D. So the first letter is the main chord slash bass, so the D is the bass, so that's, that's how they work. Uh, rhythmically, in fact, let's just, let's just try this from a different angle, so I'll just show you this. So look at my thumb. Okay, 
Okay, now it's really important to have a relaxed grip as much as possible. You don't want like an iron fist. It's not a kung fu movie. You've got to be relaxed. Move your thumb, get your wrist involved. If you try and do everything with your fingers, you'll end up super tense. Not good at all for playing. You've got to try and stay relaxed. So watch the height of the strings as well. Make sure they're not too high for normal fretted playing. Okay. Now rhythmically, what we're doing here is uh, it's not quite going evenly across uh, like the main riff. It's going dom, 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 faster, dom, 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 faster. So there's a, f a funny sort of cross rhythm on this first D chord and this C chord, and then it's just bom, bom. So that's, a f that's the first bar. So it's bom, bom, next bar. And then cross rhythm here on that G and the F, and then it finishes off with that riff. Now, because it's got a relatively sort of slow, steady, plodding tempo, this, uh, we're, we're getting into a funny sort of 16th offbeat rhythm. So it's probably easier to actually uh, just listen and copy as opposed to sort of explain what's happening. So here's your beat, and we've got cross rhythm, bomb, bomb, quicker, bomb. So the A and the riff at the end are, are kind of straight rhythmically. The others are going across the beat. So I just go slowly. So three, four. Faster. Faster at the end as well. Now, if you're feeling particularly adventurous, you can, I, I was, because I'm playing it on my own, uh, I was filling that riff out a little bit at the end. So D, A, D, whatever I play on the high D, I can play on the low D because it's the same note. So I was using fingers two and three. And just instead of, I was just playing strumming down, up, down, all the way through. so you can try that as well if you want. Okay, so on the original track, um, it does that chord break twice and then it picks up again on the, so, so that chord break lasts for two bars, so if you repeat it, that's four bars in total. Now, like we were saying, the main riff cycles round in three bar sections. So what happens is what they decided to do was they decided to rejoin the main riff exactly where it would be if they were jumping in at like bar five which happens to be halfway through that fret one chord that that d augmented that d sharp five so i i've only got space here to do one down up down with the bass and then i'm straight up to fret to the D6 chord. So it's like this, three, four. Change. Start again. So that's a bit funny, isn't it? I better try that one more time. We shall try it from this angle. So three, four. Change. And we're back into the main riff at that point. 
Now, to be honest, I would say, uh, if you've not been playing for so long, uh, that is the main bulk of the song, okay? There's a chorus, I'll go over in a minute, which is dead easy, just two chords. G fret five. So in, in this current tuning, we're in D, A, D. Fret five is a G, fret seven is an A. But um, that, that happens a couple of times, but there's also a bridge in the middle, which happens just once. Uh, it sounds great, but if you've not been playing for that long, you might find it a little bit funny. So uh, I would definitely stop and practice those two sections. And particularly when you've got them, try and get that um, sequence where you jump in back from the chord break into like halfway through the main riff cycle. And uh, once you get it, it's dead easy, a little bit funny to start with. But um, going into the bridge, so the bridge uh, is, is on an A, but um, so again in this, this tuning, that's, a, that's an A5, so that's normally a D5 isn't it if we're in standard um, G, D, G, but D, A, D tuning, that's, that's an A. So it goes from that A up to this one. Now again, this is a bar chord. So if you've not been uh, playing for that long, um, you might want to again use that sunshine you love to uh, refresh your knowledge on how to play bar chords effectively. Because like I was saying, you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to have your iron grip out. You want to be nice and relaxed. So it's all about being as efficient as you possibly can with like your hand position. But we're basically going from this A up to this A, okay? And I'll do the transition from the main, uh, the chord break into this in a minute, but the, the actual bridge riff goes like this. It's A, 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 A. That's a bit funny, isn't it? In fact, I think it's probably easier to use uh, fingers two and three. It's easier to, because I'm, sort of getting a bit of a slide but it's so three four a a a a a a a a a a okay so one two three four the fourth one's up here and then the fifth one's back here again now again, it's got a funny sort of, uh, the, the, the rhythmical thing is, is what sort of gives that its sort of catchy, um, sort of memorable sound. So very offbeat. There's a riff. So again, I'll just do the single note version. Top string, three, two, open, middle string, open fret two open top string so open d so that's like f e d a b e fret three fret two open next string open fret two all the same length now when you're playing riffs we've talked about this quite a lot um so like rest try and rest on the bridge or certainly don't get that rotation, just um, get the vertical wrist movement. So when you've learnt it, alternate. Alternate picking's quite good. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so from another angle, we've got down, up, down, up, down, up. So, chord, start the main bridge riff, three, four. Do that with these fingers one more time, so three, four. Okay. After that riff, it takes you immediately back into the, the, the D chord, uh, sorry, A chord when you loop it. So one more time, three, four. Bit 
bit slower. So that, that riff's quite difficult. Uh, it's quite fast. Again, it's um, 16th notes, so, so they're relatively quick, so you, you don't want to tackle this unless you, you know, feel like you've been playing for a bit, to be honest. Um, I, I was also uh, just filling it out again because I was playing it on my own, so uh, anything I play here, I, I, can, I can add in the, what you call the low octave. Um, so alternate strumming, alternate picking, you know, you can easily go from one to the other. So alternate strumming, down, up, down, up on the open, down, up. I'll, I'll do that again with the picking. Up, down, up. So once you've got that bridge riff, uh, what's slightly funny is going from the chord break into the, into the bridge. What on earth was that? Well, the end of the chord break is three notes, isn't it? Fret three, fret two, open on, on the easy version on, on the top string or strumming. Add some more notes in. And that gives us an extended riff, which is actually uh, the, the riff from the bridge, so um, we, we can just land from that. So if you can hear that, I'll, I'll, I'll play the whole thing. So that is changing the time signature. It's adding an extra half a beat in. So um, you can tell people you're in prog rock territory here. So this is a single bar of 9-8 as opposed to 4-4. Um, I, I won't go into what that is. It's basically half a beat on top of um, a normal bar of 4. But it's... Um, uh, it's only because it's that longer riff, you know, so if you actually just think about the fact that you're going to play the bridge riff early as opposed to the shorter chord break riff and then without any pause you land on the, the A chord, uh, then it, it's actually quite easy. And then going uh, out of the bridge riff, uh, just don't, don't do that final at the bridge, don't do that final riff, so... Um, and then we're, we're straight back in again to the, uh, the, the, the chord break, okay? Uh, after that, like I was saying, it goes to the chorus, which is a G for two bars, and then an A for two bars. Now, uh, we need Robert Plant at this point. Like the guitar is just sort of back backing everything up. It's not doing anything particularly that distinctive. So um, something like this would work. On, off. On, on, off. On, on, off. On. Strumming loose wrists, and it goes round for ages. There's a really nice sort of Middle Eastern sounding string arrangement at this point. Uh, jumps back into the main riff and we carry on throughout the rest of the song, but um, that is basically it. So um, the, yeah, the main elements to really practice, if you want to do the whole lot, uh, get the bridge down and then really work on going from the chord break into the bridge. And what happens structurally, like we were saying, is there's two descending times round the chord break, it rejoins the main riff, but we're straight back to the chord break, but then we're straight into the bridge. So, possibly the most difficult bit. 
So that's about it. I uh, hope that was useful. Uh, great fun to play. So like I said, that's all of the different riffs, but um, in order to play along with the track, you're going to have to um, you know, either use your ears and listen for all the different sections, or don't forget to download our free song chart PDF. But um, I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you here again very soon with another classic rock tune in DAD tuning. So we'll see you here again soon on Code of Guitar.